too. Ladies, gents, boys, and girls, children of all ages, welcome to 386th edition of a show about trivia, movie trivia. And because Steve's here, it's a world title match. Steve Mesa, how you doing? Doing very good. I am trying to do my best to survive with this title, and hopefully they can take it off my dead, cold uh, corpses. But uh, <laughs> like, no, no. where are you going with that? You know, you know, all kidding aside, I, I am looking forward to uh, to whether I had the title or not to have a really good game against these lovely group of people. So let the best man or woman win. Oh. Um, next, Chris Diaz. How are you, sir? Here to have fun in another title match. Me and Pat lately, but you have fun. <laughs> and Maria, how you doing? I'm here, and I'm so happy to be here because I just love all of you. And Chris Diaz, I no longer see his J.J. Uh, Abrams flair like when I first started playing. He had that same room, and there was a big, long, hairy light, and yeah. I didn't go into it, though. I was told not to <laughs> by someone, some voice. I he was frozen. Oh, I told you maybe. Met Mark, <laughs> But otherwise, hi! It's Easter almost. It is indeed uh, uh, the week before. Tato's here. Tato, how you doing? Uh, speaking of lights, let's get a little more professional up in this piece. Uh, Maria and I will combine for eight points less than Steve's total. <laughs> or more. And last, but certainly not least, he's always DTM. It's Rick. How you doing? Uh, well, I'm under protest. You told me you would be hosting this naked, and I clearly oh, see a shirt, so uh, I forfeit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I know you don't have pants on, so we're good. There you go. Now we're all the way there. Hey, yeah. guys, what actor can be found in Tag, The Mummy, and the Jurassic World? It's really freeing given the shirt list. Oh, God, I love it. Hercules, Hercules. I hope people tune in right now and just go, what happened? Baby, eat some bread. Uh, <laughs> and it's kind of cold in here now, though. I've got the AC plus. I know this is not right, but I'm going to try. <laughs> and five. Oh, yeah. Four, three, two. What's three? Uh, Steve, what you got? Ben's down, Steve. Jake Johnson. Chris. <gasps> Peter B. Pocket himself, Jake Johnson. And Maria. I don't have Jake Johnson. I said Chris Pratt because I didn't know who Jake Johnson was Jake at the time. The guy who has more than three roles, as everyone does, and every time you ask these questions, Jake Johnson. Rick. <laughs> Not the only Johnson in this room. Jake Johnson. Tune in next. We're going to ask again because I really like Jake Johnson. I forgot I wrote about him. John Travolta and Jonathan Reese Myers played mismatched spies in what 2010 action play? Uh, you're making my parents my parents happy. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be good night for me. <laughs> Let's write that up for mate. <laughs> Let's say twenty. Right, don't give up on question two. I'm, on question I'm not two. giving up. I just don't know. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. It's been a tough. Lock tough. it in. Hands down, Rick. I put from Paris with love. Tato. <laughs> I got nothing. Maria. <laughs> I don't even know what Jonas in trouble has been in lately. My dad, one of my dad's favorite movies, from Paris with love. And Steve. Never even heard of it. From Paris with love. From Paris with love is correct. Who played David Linhang in the man Julian Moore had an affair with in Crazy Stupid Love? I was pretty sure from Paris with Love was a Bond flick, so. Hey. Crazy Stupid Love, that's. And five, it's four. Okay. A little more time for Chris's first of the night. Here's oh. three. Looking for the man that played David Lindhagen. The man Julian Moore had an affair with in Crazy Stupid Love. I'm annoyed. I can't think of who this is. You know, I'm just I'm just having a moment here. I had an affair Five, with Julian Moore. Four, Hold on one second. Oh, oh my two, God, give me a minute. One, 
luck. It's yeah, dude. In yeah. End zone. All right, Steve, what you think? Greg Kinnear. Oh, shit. Chris, what you got? No, it's the Footloose guy. I forgot his name all of a sudden. And Maria. Was it Ryan Gosling? And no. Tato. Your grant's a good piece of shit. And what you got, Rick? I put John Hamm. Oh, well, it was, uh, sadly, uh, Chris was right, but we needed Kevin Bacon. Oh, Kevin yeah. Bacon is the man we are looking oh, for. Oh, I was so excited for a minute. I thought I had him. We, uh, Ryan Gosling's in it, but no, not, he's the one that helps yeah. Steve Crow kind of get back I on know. track. Yeah, you blew it! Thank you. Who directed Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Ambrose. Just heard this the other day. What did that person say? Oh, I have a hustle fan. I don't know who any of these people are. Dummy. Let me refresh my thought. on. And five, four, three, two, one. Rick, what you got? Nicholas Stoller. Tato. John. <laughs> Michael Mann. I don't know any director. He would have done some weird. He should do a rom com, Chris. I blank. I know it. I should have remembered it. And Steve. I, I had an incomplete. I put Nicholas Stoll. Oh, and Rick takes the lead with that. In the Toy Story franchise, what is the name of the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance? Thank you. You know, when I uploaded this question a few weeks ago, I said, I get a feeling I'm going to get a thank you for this and Chris. How's your recording? That was right. When Toy Story Pretty Rumble good. Rumble. It's, it really is a good uh, soda substitute, you know? It's fuzzy. I just don't like And I've always liked that's my, water, so. Yeah, that's my big issue. Really? And even, and this one even this is just I'm even good with just good old plain, although I do have a what was the last thing yesterday? Waterloo Summerberry was good. Five. That's that's target. Good shit, good shit boy. Great. Happy for you. And other places. I definitely didn't oh, go okay. to Target. Uh <laughs> one. Walmart might have it. Uh so what you got, Steve? Zerg. And Chris. Zerg. And Maria. Zerg, dark guy, long robe, long dress. <laughs> okay, Tato. Come on. It's Zerg. <laughs> and to Rick. There is no Dana, there's only Zerg. Hey, Zerg is correct. Your uh, blue clean sweep the first of the night. Uh, what is the film debut of Wes Anderson? Oh, one, of, first. Uh, one of two movies that were good that he made. Oh, that's not true. Oh, I oh, Rick, you're, you're I so one this of one is the worst Anderson, right? I hate Wes Anderson. To you, maybe. No, no, yes, no, no. I don't actually I have the yes. idea. Uh, is he like yes, got red hair and looks like a effective red hair? Oh, does he have one? Pens I'm down. Kind of Rick. Weird. Bottle rocket. Tato. Oh shit! Holy shit! That's what I wrote. Maria. I wrote the Life Aquatic with Steve Zizzo. Chris. Water Rocket. And Steve. Water Rocket. Bottle Rocket. Bottle Rocket. The short film and then the feature length film. Was mine a Wes Anderson Rocket film though? Was one it of was, the right? That is a Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, but that's about. Okay, good. I got a Wes Anderson so. movie then. That's good, right? And Ralph breaks the internet. Who voices the Thank racer you. Shank? You're welcome. Uh, oh, bottle rocket, and then Rushmore is his sophomore. Yep, and then Tenant. This movie suck. What is the deal on that guy? Okay, okay hold on. Moonrise Kingdom is really mm. good. I'm Wild just kidding. Dog is good. Grand I know Big you. I need to react. Good. The dog one is good. I'm frozen, so movie. can't even defend him. Five, four, <laughs> three. Two, Daddy, one, Steve makes I have the Henry line. Gal Gadot. Fuck! Chris. That's right. I don't like that, Maria. but I don't know that. I didn't get it. Tato. I have Michelle Rodriguez above Gal Gadot. Ah, Rick. I put a Z. Oh, look for Gal Gadot. Oh, so Steve and Chris tying up Rick, going into question eight here. Who can be found in the movie Zombieland Double Tap, Concussion, 
the 2010 Death at a Funeral, and the Royal Tenenbaums. <laughs> I forgot to add another Wes Anderson SC question. I don't know. I'll write this or guy. Or do you? There you I don't go. know, maybe. I'm optimistic. Up next, we got ASAP Rules. Everyone loves ASAP Rules. Five. Four. Oh, I heard Chris say it. He was sailing for it. Well, Chris said it, so Chris gets his <clears> second <throat> here. What action we found in Zombieland Double Tap? Pew Pew. Concussion. Death at a Funeral, the 2010 version, and the Royal Tenenbaums. Hopefully, you know which version is 2010. <laughs> That's the only hint you get. Uh, well, he was a, I don't think he was a Royal Tenenbaums. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Movie would get yes, a sound effect. Oh, no, wait, there's a different guy. Sorry. I said I was hoping every movie was going to get a sound effect after the double tap. Pew, pew. Okay, okay. Uh, Zombieland, double tap. Pew, pew. Concussion. Oh, Death of the Funeral. Oh, World Tenant Bombs. Oi. I I ran out of sound effects. Five, (laughs) four, three, Attention, two. my last attention. All right, geez, Chris, you don't know, okay, hopefully that second half, you don't need them. Uh, Zombieland yeah, Double right. Tap, Concussion, Death and the Funeral 2010, and, and the Royal right. Tenenbaums. All have a combined actor. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to get my guess here. I don't know. No. Everybody I'm else, you have all of your repeats. <laughs> and five, <laughs> four, three, two, Ooh. one. <laughs> Depends on, well, might have paid off for Steve. We'll find out, Rick. I, I don't know. I put Danny Glover. Tato. Uh, Fabs. And Morgan. John, John Fabs. Owen Wilson. And, ooh, Chris. Wow. I bet I bet Rick and Rick. And Steve. Luke Wilson. It's hey, Owen's brother, Luke Wilson, can be found Mother. in all those movies. Fudge Trucker. Yeah, him and, uh, What's his face from Silicon Valley? God. Pop up and double tap. And yeah. No. Uh, Owen was in, wasn't he somebody in? No, you're right. Tombstone. What two actors play brothers to Kurt Russell's Wyatt Earp? Looking for two actors here, so ASAP rules do apply. Oh. I think I know this one. I might be wrong. I'm 100% writing a different Wyatt Earp. <laughs> you really gotta worry about a, Doc a sci-fi TV, TV series called Winona Earp? That's a thing. And five. Really? Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start at the top. Steve? Uh, Val Kilmer and Billy Bob Thornton? Yeah, it's Billy. Chris? I th- have Val Kilmer. It's that Tom side tomorrow. <laughs> and Maria. It's supposed to be his brothers, right? Maria. Sam Elliott and uh, Bill Paxton. Tato. I wrote Val Kilmer and I was going for Fabs. And Rick. I <laughs> put Tommy Lee Jones because I've never seen it. Isn't it? Yeah, Maria, Maria knew what was up. You got it, Maria. Maria nailed yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. I was like, Val Kilmer. <laughs> like I, said, I am 100% right. And, and <laughs> Sam Elliott. Kilmer is Wyatt Earp in. Yeah. Wyatt Earp, right? No, Kilmer well, is Doc Holliday. He dies. He's a different person. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. He's just not who I'm asking okay. about. Yes, the right movie, just not the right character. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, so oh, Maria Cooley like nailed it. So, don't get that point. Yeah, uh, Thank you. Tom I get Cruise one. Movie depicts a young Irish couple struggling to become landowners after immigrating to the U.S. Want to know who directed it? Uh, you can drop that later. Yeah. Sure. Extra credit point. Yeah. Yeah, I think about it. And five, four, three, two, one. Lock it in. Hands down. Uh, Rick, what you got? I put far and away. And what you got, Tato? The Rock. And Maria. Far and away. And Far Chris. Away. I don't think I give you Chris. I didn't see any kind of plus no, or hand. You just said far end. away. Yeah, yeah, so I will give everyone else though far and away is what we needed. I'll also accept the plus because a couple of you did that, so no problems there. 
Uh, so yeah, far and away uh, is what we needed there. Uh, I mean, Steve took the lead, right? Yeah. What you got to see? Yeah, yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, it so wasn't Steve me. That's, that's what I know. One behind. <laughs> When my buddy Peter, right. he's over here. That Who one. directed Alex and Emma, the American President, and it morphed? <sighs> Can it possibly be this guy? I don't know. I don't think he does this. Well, but we'll see. Why he had to be on the list? That's right. <laughs> why did it have to be? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Four, three, <laughs> two, one, pens down. Steve, what you got? Rob Reiner. Oh, fuck, Chris. Right. No, I said the worst movie that I directed. Rob Reiner. Maria. I said Harris Sorkin because I think he wrote the president. Yeah. I don't know about the others. Danny Boyle. And Rick. I pulled this out of my ass. <laughs> Rob Reiner. Uh, you should get head. checked by a doctor. I don't know why he's up there because Rob Reiner is indeed. It must have been right. painful. Exactly what movie co-stars William H. Macy, Jeff Daniels, Paul Walker, and Don and Knotts? <laughs> wow. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no, just try Lock it in, pens down. <laughs> Steve, you went pretty quickly. Me? Next? Yeah, Steve. Pleasantville. Chris? Nope. Oh, I forgot that movie. Maria? The Amazing Mr. Limpet. <laughs> and Tato? Meet the Deedles. And Rick? I put the cooler. <laughs> Pleasantville Cooler. is correct. Yes, Pleasantville. I thought about that In 2018's movie. second act, who plays Maya's friend, Joan? I can name you. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Rick. Leah Remini. And Tato. Amy Adams. And Maria. Jane Fonda. Chris. Good <laughs> friend. And Steve. Amber Heard. Uh, Leah Remini and King of Queens is correct. We're getting that point. Good job. What Oscar winning actress plays the character of Mrs. Coulter in The Golden Compass? Thank you. Sure. It's better than the hotel you show. Wanda. Opposite of thank you. <laughs> My girlfriend's going to be mad. I've never seen that. It's, it's one she likes. Oh. I, I guess I'll pick, pick this person. Why not? Five. Four. Three. One. Lock it in. Pens down. Rick, did you know it? Nicole Kidman. Tato? Yeah. Nick Kidman. Wait, what? I said Nick Kidman. Nick. Whatever Nick. it's worth. Nicole, Nicole, you don't know like Are you trying to make hey, a Nick. joke? Or... Hey, bitch, what's up? I, hey, I'm, Nick, what's happening? I, I was running out of time and fucking. I've also uh, referred to her as Nick Kidman in joking manner before. I don't care. I, I just I just wanted to hear you out, Tato. Calm down. I love you, buddy. <laughs> I said Angela Lansbury because I didn't know it was Nick Chris, Kidman. The only good call that from now on. I was about Nicole Kidman. Steve. The performance she ever had. Was a piece a, a, AMC spokeswoman, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, that's, all right. that's a fun time. Nick, I also thought you said Nick. But I was just making sure it wasn't someone else. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Paul Greengrass, certain Matt Damon in three Bourne flicks. And what other movie? Shit. I'm confusing him with Tom Hanks. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one. Uh, pens down. Uh, well, let's go, Steve. Miss Amelia. The green zone. Chris. I forgot to do that in green zone. Uh, you know I don't care about those, Maria. <laughs> A Chinese ponytail thing. I forgot what the name of and, it is. <laughs> not that one, Tato. We bought a zoo. And Rick. I what love that movie, wanted? by the way. Uh, Green Zone is what we were looking for. A couple points there. 2015, Eye in the Sky, starred Aaron Paul, Helen Mirren, and what actor in his last on-screen role? I hate to keep saying it, but thank you. That's not see again. Now we're back to the hotel. Not like we hate it. Say thank you. Thank you. I'm glad we talked about a dead guy. Like, that's a weird thing. Kind of a weird thing. To say no, no, I actually, I love the question. It's, um. Well, it's also five. Extension. Four. All right. That is Rick's first. Talking about 2015's Eye in the Sky that starred Aaron Paul Hillman, what actor in his last on screen role. I do say on screen because the clarification is there is one more voice performance later. Yeah. What's up, Bethany? Oh, so you guys never seen this movie, do check it out. Really good. No. Thank you for that rousing endorsement. Whatever it is. <laughs> I'll try uh, it. I'll try it. I've been Three, trying to do all your recommendations. Two. One hands down, Rick. Did you pull it? I put James Earl Jones. Uh, Tato? I got nothing. Maria? John, no middle name, Wayne. Uh, Chris? Always. Alan Rickman. And Steve? No, oh, I got nothing. nothing. Uh, the Chris Diaz will get the point there. It's the last time we were able to, unfortunately, see Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. What a ripoff. Too. Too. What is the nickname of Bill Nunn's boombox totem character in the Do the Right Thing? I still need to be the You know what, Rick? I'm going to treat you like Chris Farley. You, you've got too many questions wrong. The shirt's going back on. Because that is incorrect. <laughs> Plus, I was getting chilly. <laughs> we appreciate you sticking it through, man. Wow. Oh, it am, felt kind of nice in one way. I am <laughs> Five, not doing really anything down there. Four, three, Repeat. Was for Steve's first nickname of Bill Nunn's oh, boombox toting character and do the right thing. No, I'm not doing putting this thing down. Oh, you shoot oh, your you shot, as the kids say. Leaving you, babe. I need it. I don't need you, babe. Five, four, three, two, one. Did it work, Steve? What you got? Nope. Boomer. <laughs> Chris. Boomer. I don't know. And Maria. Will Robinson, right? And Will Robinson. Oh. Uh, Tato. Danger, Will Robinson. Radio Rahim. Oh. And Rip. Put stereo. And Tadeo saves me from pressing that John T. McGinley button because it is Radio Raheem. That's a Tadeo sweet. Player. Look at you being the best. That's what we call Tadeo lore. Tadeo lore. What two SNL actors can be found in the SNL films? Night of Roxbury, Superstar, and The Ladies Man. Would anyone like a hint or no hints? No hints. No hints. All right. I'm kidding. I don't care. I don't need a hint. It's I was right. told no hints. So try to figure out the two SNL actors that are in all three of those. I know one deaf parent. On his love, maybe don't hurt me. Hurt me so long. I don't know. Five, four, three, two, one. Locking in, pens down. Um, for the record, my hint would have been, don't overthink it. No one's pulling the second one. Steve. <laughs> Tim Meadows and Will Ferrell. Uh, Chris. I said Will Ferrell, I said Molly Chan. And Maria. I couldn't think of Will's last name. Tim Meadows and Will something. F. F. I was thinking Franklin. Think of Will Ferrell? Tato. I don't like Will Ferrell. I, I was thinking Tim American. Meadows. I wrote Tim Robinson but and Chris Kattan. Uh, Rick. Yeah, Chris Kattan. I, put, I put Chris Kattan and Molly Shannon. Oh, no. So anyone that said Will Ferrell gets the point. Will Ferrell 
comes in all three. And the reason I said no one's going to pull the second, but I had to say it because it fits the question. Mark McKinney. Anyone remember Mark McKinney? Yeah, uh, he was recently on uh, Superstore. He's really funny in that. Um, That's a good show. Had, was he Kids in the Hall? I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So he does fit because he's in all three. But no, yeah, Molly Shannon's in two of them. Uh, Shannon's not in Ladies Man. Um, and yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Tim Meadows also in, I think, uh, just one of uh, Tim Meadows was pop up though in Wings World 2. Uh, huh. Who starred as the unhinged Alexandra Forrest in Fatal Attraction? It will not be ignored. All right. Yeah, now let's right. go, Maria. <laughs> yeah, that bitch needs a bit Barbara sh- shakedown. No, I'm not there. You keep saying the thing, man. No, I think not. <laughs> the same answer, they, she know. had to rewind and figure out why why it was randomly shirtless. <laughs> How does that? I figured that might be a little uh, odd to tune in halfway through and go. He's half naked. Five, four, three, two. All because Rick wanted it, and Rick wants he get. Wait, what? I don't know. Uh, see which one. Blank close. And Chris. She should have won the Oscar for the wife. And Maria. No, she shouldn't have. She sucks. We're in close. And Tato. She should have won an Oscar for her role in Hook, Glenn Close. <laughs> and Rick. Sure. Horse she 20 better be about Envy. Glenn Close. Uh, yeah, what is the other horse's name in Envy? Uh, Rick got the double digits with that. Uh, Chris and Steve have been in double digits already, by the way. I didn't say it. Your Wait, final question. Uh, you're almost there. <laughs> Shit. <Try to>. Uh <laughs> What movie features Ben Stiller, Adam Pally, Pete Holmes, Brendan Scott Jones, Richard Klein, Richard Mishur, Michael Bigley, Kate Bakucci, Chris Gather, Gillian Jake Lukey, and Michael Keaton? Wow. 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 I, I, I like this question wow. format. I'm a fan. <laughs> um, seriously, everybody. Razor, isn't he dead? Everybody. He might be dead. Like a this might be older than I think. Cold. We'll find out in mm. five, four, three, two, one. Expansion. All right, I saw, I saw your lips moving. What movie features Ben Stiller and the rest? Looks like my character's moving, doesn't it? On the back of my board. Never mind. Okay. You're scared. Oh. God damn it, I know the movie. I know this Three, movie. Two, <laughs> one. Locking in, hands down. Steve. Emoji movie. Chris. Ooh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Maria. The end. Uh, take two. I got nothing. And Rick. I think it's the movie about the improv comedy group. I put Don't Think Twice. Rick gets it because it is don't think. Yay, Rick! Oh, and you wanted to quit. Oh, and, and that actually was everybody, by the way, actually, for once, gave you even the, the leads. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, but Steve Mesa, though, will retain his title with 13 points on the board. But Chris and Rick nice. will be two points away from the champion. Oh, I'm on the bottom. 11 apiece. 11 apiece. Tato coming in with six Surprise. at the end there. Maria with four points on the board here <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Steve, you retain the title. Uh, Bugs, parting words, and your favorite Ben Stiller movie. Uh, yeah, this has probably been my weakest uh, game yeah. so far. Uh, you know, thir- you know, thirteen. You know, people usually think associated with me to get more than more like at least fifteen or more points, but like thirteen was really pretty bad. But I managed to retain it. That's all that really matters. And as far as my favorite Ben Stiller movie, uh, I'm gonna have to say Tropic Thunder. That was hilarious. All right. Chris, plugs and parting words and your favorite uh, Pete Holmes YouTube sketch. I don't want a lot of YouTube sketch, so I can't help it. <laughs> well, then, plugs and parting words. Um, you can find me here, Danny, man. As always, it's funny. Every time me and make her fake each other and Rick, they always become close games. But that's what I'm saying. But, <laughs> Here to have fun all the way, then you find me a little bit, you see my review of the late night with the devil, and then you'll find me anywhere else. And the internet coming up. 
<laughs> Rick, sir, plugs, yes. parting words, and your favorite micro bigly is stand up special. Uh, I oh, mean, shit. Sleepwalk with me is classic. So I read the book, it was fantastic. Um, so uh, you can check out my letterbox down the movie. You can check out my YouTube channel, even though I don't post new videos on there anymore. Also, down the movie. And uh, son of a bitch, Steve Mesa. <laughs> Can't really hear me too good. Night. Can't when be mad. He's crawl too into good. bed at night and we pull up our covers. We go, son of a bitch, Steve Mason. Steve Mason. Before we drift to sleep. Tato, plugs, parting words, and what amazing Spider Man 2 actor was in a dumpster during the entire episode of the Chris Gethard show? Um, I'm going to go with Jamie Foxx. Um, for Paul Giamatti was in a dumpster the entire episode. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fucking. Attractive. Fish smelling sideways on a have an ass motherfucker. Um. Anyway, try. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, plugs. Parting words. The um, things I ask every episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Um, you can find me here. You can find me there. You can find me every fucking way. Everywhere. Every fucking way. Like Much it. like Roy Kent, Jake Tato. And last but certainly not least, Tippity Hoppity Mario plugs, parting words, and your favorite episode of Community. Favorite what kind of Community? <laughs> episode oh, episode. the paintball. No, no, wait, is it paintball or is it Batman? I think it was paintball. Batman. The paintball is that the same one? Oh, where okay. he comes up to go, you know, he comes up and he goes, "I'm Batman." It's funny. Oh, there's a, yeah. Okay, um, he does just was Batman as well. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Abed was Batman. Anyway, um, so, so where was I? Oh, I don't have any plugs. I did a couple things on multiplex. Lost them both. Well, I don't know if I lost them both. It'll be determined. I'm sure it will be. But anyway, it's been fun, and uh, thank you for having me. And uh, I went to Chicago and had fun. I got some mirrors. Yay! Had plastic surgery. Seriously, they're plastic. <laughs> For Maria, Tato, Rick, Chris, Steve, thank you for watching. Tell a friend and we love you more than you'll ever know. Good night.